Today's video is sponsored by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Today, we're gonna make an Alaskan Ulu knife with a mating cutting board. First thing I did was print a template and cut it out with an X-Acto knife. I used that as a stencil and spray painted the outline on some sheet metal I got from the Home Depot. Using a metal cutting blade on my jigsaw, I cut the shape out. I'll have links to all the tools and supplies I used in the description down below. I did use some Tap Magic cutting fluid to keep the metal well lubricated and was surprised on how easy it was to cut with a jigsaw. For the center, I needed to drill out a hole for a place to insert the jigsaw blade. I then finalized the shape on the disc and belt sander using 120 grit sandpaper. The inside was shaped using a bastard file. I sanded the face sides with my random orbit sander up to 240 grit and then stuck on some synthetic finishing pads to polish the metal. And then a bit of sandpaper to smooth out the rough edges. For the bevel, I just drew a line and started sanding to that line. Once I got pretty close, I used my WorkSharp 3000. If you want to learn more about the sharpening station, check out the video I made here. I did some final touches with a sharpening stone and making sure the back was completely flat. Next, I resaw some soft maple for the handle. If you want to see how I resaw, check out my video Resawing Without Gadgets. I trace out my shape, cut it out on the bandsaw, and resaw it in half for the two pieces that will make up the handle. This is being sent out to a chef in Austria, so I'm laser etching his logo into the sides. I then glue everything together and drill some holes with quarter inch brass dowels that'll be epoxied in. and then some final sanding and a few coats of butcher block conditioner for a nice finish. For the mating cutting board, I'm gluing up some soft maple and walnut. Once dry, I plane it down to thickness and cut it into a perfect square before chucking it up on the lathe. Here on the lathe, I'm carving out a concave surface that should allow the knife to rock back and forth for a fast and efficient cutting. And once again, I laser engraved the chef's logo on the side and finished it off with a few coats of butcher's block conditioner. And that's it. It's off to Austria where the channel Cook With Meat will use it.
If you don't already subscribe to Cook With Me, I highly suggest you do so. It has my favorite cooking channel on YouTube. Even if you're not into cooking videos, his vids are still incredible to watch, so check him out. So I know some of the more experienced knife makers are going to criticize the metal that I'm using for the blade. Because this isn't hardened steel, it's not going to hold a sharp edge as long as a well-made knife. And that's okay, because I'm not going to use this knife for survival or hunting bears. It'll cut potatoes just fine. In fact, our store-bought Ulu is pretty dull and still works just fine, and I'm pretty sure this very flexible metal isn't hardened steel as well. You just want to make sure you're using stainless steel so it doesn't rust. I have links to all the tools and supplies used down below as well as a template for this knife. And I also highly suggest signing up for my email list to be notified of new content and get exclusive deals to my store. Once again, go subscribe to Cook With Meat, totally digging what he's doing over there. Be safe, stay passionate, and make something. Mm -hmm.